26. This one, I can just read it for you. <laughs> when the sun sets you free, you are? When the sun sets you free, you are? When the sun sets you free, you are? And you see, when we study the scripture, we study it. We study it. I, I know there's somebody who can study this scripture and you say amen. It is good to say amen. But for me, you know how I study? When I look at this scripture and say, when the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. What I ask myself first, so there is other deliverance. It's not only the sun that can set you free. There are other forms of deliverance. The deliverance of the sun is the ultimate deliverance, but there are other deliverances. What I mean, you can be physically delivered. Somebody, you can dress very, very well. You may be in good health, but it is Jesus Christ who needs to deliver you from the spirit of poverty. Amen? So I can give you clothes, but Jesus can deliver you from the spirit of poverty. You buy your own clothes. Hallelujah. I can deliver you. You can be delivered mentally by information, but we know many people who have gone to the university, but they are still nullified. They have gone to the university, then they are hit with the spirit of alcoholism. We know. That makes it, that, that now brings us to the point, the point number three. In the areas of deliverance, we have physical, mental, and we have spiritual deliverance. Now, spiritual deliverance is the ultimate. Spiritual deliverance, that is point number three. Physical deliverance, number one. Mental, number two. Spiritual deliverance, number three. Spiritual deliverance is the ultimate deliverance that we need. Now, when you have done your part, hallelujah, it is Jesus to do the finishing by spiritually delivering you if there's an obstacle. But I tell you, there are some people, I repeat that point, there are some people when your mind is free or you start to change the way you are thinking and the way you are operating, you come to discover kumbi ata unanga pepo. You say, God, pray for me for spirit of rejection. Kumbi, you having that the rejection is following you because you are poor. When you improve your mind and things start to work well, it is very difficult to reject a rich man. In fact, I've discovered from experience, there are certain kind of people who tell me about spirit of rejection. Kuna watu wengine sijaisikia rejection kwa Blessed be the name of the Father. There's a level that if you reach even the spirit, there are spirits that cannot work in your life. Hallelujah. Get to the level of 100,000 shillings can flow into your life every month. To only rejection it atoka wapi. Blessed be the name of the Father. Now, spiritual deliverance, this is where we need to talk well, well. Hallelujah. Spiritual deliverance. So, I think the proper point to start is spiritual bondage because it is out of bondage that you need deliverance. One thing that is with spiritual deliverance is that it is not common to get one person needing deliverance in many areas. Normally, there are specific areas of life that the devil has died. You can find somebody with good health, but marriage life is died. People are being prayed for for the healing. You have never been sick. God is good. Then there is somebody, your husband loves you so much. You are, hus you are married, the husband is there. When he has money, no money. Husband, 6.30 and akuanga hapo, kwa nyumba. You put the, you know when it comes to 5.55, you put the remote where he will find it. He never misses to come at that time. But then, today your stomach is aching, tomorrow your back is aching. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Or when you start a business, when you start a business, even the people who have been succeeding in that area, even their businesses will fall. Because you have come in as Jonah. So mostly in, in bondage, the devil ties a particular area in life. Amen? Now, bondage, there is the man that God created. And the man that God designed to be on earth was a man as free as Abraham in the Garden of Eden. When we find ourselves in bondage, there is bondage that has come from our ancestors, there's bondage that has come from ourselves because of disobedience. Hallelujah. God is good. Now, let us say the spirit of poverty. 
For there to be a spirit that you need to get free from, that spirit must have a genesis. There must be a day, a minute, a second, that spirit took charge. Hallelujah. And can I tell you, let me go, there's so much to discuss in deliverance, I hope I speak as much. You know that demons are the superior. Demons are like the angels of God in this other side. Okay? 